Hi guys, today I'm going to go through the basics of how to use a micrometer screw gauge. Now firstly, let's just go through the, the different parts. Well, here we've got the anvil. This little section here is called the spindle. We've got a lock here. Uh, this part here is called the thimble. And this part here is called the ratchet. And if I screw it in, you'll hear it starts to click. Now, around the thimble, you can see I've got numbers. Those numbers actually go all the way up to 49 and then back to zero. So there's 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and then back to zero. So there are numbers that go all the way around the thimble. And also, we've got uh, markings along here. So zero, then that's one millimeter at the top, two, three, four, five millimeters here. And this section here is every half millimeter. And what you'll notice, let me screw it back in. Uh, that for one millimeter to be displayed, I've got to spin the thimble around twice. So just expose the half millimeter uh, and I go around take it all the way back down to zero and there you go and you can now see that that's one millimeter now how do you calculate using these two different numbers so you'll get a, a reading from here and a reading from here and a combination of these two it's going to give you a result a distance between uh, the gaps here so how you do it is you put whatever you need to measure inside here you'll turn it around and you'll get a clicking sound and that's telling you just to stop and it stops you putting pressure on here if you turn it around here you can actually damage and um, you'll actually damage your, uh, the micrometer and it won't be calibrated so just uh, this ratchet here that clicking sound that stops you putting any f extra force here and damaging here Okay, going back to the numbers, so let's see here. Okay, let's see. So I've got exposed, I can see one, two, three, uh, three millimeters, and I can see one half. So this is telling me that this is three and a half millimeters, but to that, I've got to add this value here. So let me show you on a piece of paper. So what did we have? Let's have a look. We had uh, one, two, three millimeters, 0.5. So 3.5 and our number here was, I think it was 25. So let, let's just say it's 25. So we've got 3.5 and then plus 0 0.25. Let me put a zero there. We're going to get the total distance is 3.75 millimeters. So that's how we can use the two values that I've got from the micrometer to work out the, the length. Let's try one more. Let's do one more. Okay, let me make it a little bit smaller. So this time, let me just focus. So this time I've got the, uh, the two millimeters exposed, but I can't see any half millimeters. Okay, and then I'll put this just so it's on 15. So there's no half millimeters exposed. So I'm going to have 2.00 plus 0.15. So that gives me 2.15 millimeters. Well, I hope that makes sense. Bye for now.